Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I Yulechko wants to travel. So today I'm going to visit Samut Prakan. So in Thailand, in Bangkok, it is considered another province. But actually Samut Prakan is connected with Bangkok by BTS. It's like just far, uh, farest uh, BTS station. Who doesn't know BTS? It's a uh, skyline, uh, metro line. So uh, I was going from Anut uh, to uh, a station called Paknam. So at Paknam, I get off and looked outside. Well, in Samut Prakan, I didn't see much people on the street. Really, it's like people don't prefer to live in Samut Prakan thinking it's far away province. Let's hang out only in Bangkok, somewhere in Sukhumvit. As you see, empty. 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 But what I uh, noticed so far is just the uh, buildings and streets they seem a little bit different from Bangkok now I'm visiting tranquil quiet peaceful monastery somewhat some temple quietly I entered in the temple and there is only one monk praying to golden Buddha actually golden Buddhas every monastery every uh, temple in Bangkok in Thailand includes also cemetery so as you see some beautiful um, constructions so actually they contain the relics of the people so I'm going to the pier I want to visit one small island and I need a boat. It's very near actually from the station, from BTS and I walked and noticed this architectural construction. Small market, actually this place looks like Chinatown. And as I understood very soon there is a Chinese New Year very cheap market and for six baht I set on a boat but this is it this island I'm going to explore There is a port nearby, and this is a this is the bridge I'm going to cross on this island. Buddhist Takda Stupa. I'm going to visit after. Firstly, I need to walk because sky actually is cloudy, so I have a feeling that it's evening now. And that's why I'm rushing to go there as, as soon as possible before darkness. But it's just uh, 4 o'clock. So what what it look like Samut Prakan on other side of the river Chayupraya. Everything looks kind of abandoned. And this entrance to the island it's supposed to have a lot of shops, as you see, but everything is shut down. It's haunted. Absolutely. A little bit creepy. I feel lonely walking here. Without some couples returning, I'm, I'm just going there. I hope I will not be the only one on the lonely dark island 
no some family is walking so if i rush i will join them oh my god is it uh i'm going to walk around those bushes how to call jungle probably it's inhabited by snakes varans some creatures so i'm going to walk along this island on this uh, constructed road and look at the is that a coconut trees if i fall down i'm not sure i can uh, climb up so there is on another side of the island there is a fort like um it was a real fort now it has kind of museum maybe it's closed everything is closed and some youngsters young boys uh i think they look after this fort and this small boy is a kind of a guide he wants to be a guide to get little bit tips but i don't understand thai so i walk along alone so this is main entrance to the fort military it was active maybe 100 years ago it includes storage for bombs for these cannons and prisons i'm going to enter one of the prison this one looks scary can you imagine someone is sitting there probably he had a very bad karma So these cannons probably were aiming at the ships uh, which uh, tried to enter the without permission. Now it's a park with a statue. Honestly, this place has some unwelcome, unwelcoming I, I can't say I'm welcoming, but some very weird vibes. Maybe because it was a military place of blood and murder of war. Everything abandoned. And this one was probably uh, like a market or maybe uh, troops were sleeping here and this is the statue kind of a goddess I think uh, they're worshipping to some ghost yes Thai people believe that many abandoned places are haunted. So I came back to the main land and visited temple real quick. Just walked around. So this is it, last park and bye bye. Bye bye, I'm going home, bye BTS, subscribe.